Well, the ransomware attack on the world's largest meat processor, JBS, just another sign cybersecurity will only become a more dire issue for business. Here now is Market Gauge Group's uh, it's Michelle Snyder. Michelle, today President Biden did, uh, there was some talk about this. Uh, I know they're going to be looking deeper into the problem, but it seems pretty obvious to me businesses are going to have to step up and protect themselves. That means there's certainly going to be some opportunities. What do you like in this cybersecurity space? Well, one of my favorites actually a new issue stock called Telos, TLS, and right now it's setting up right sitting on its 50-day moving average. So I'd like to give it one more day, but if it clears 34.50, I think it would easily fly to 40. That would be the first one. There's also an ETF. I always like to look at the ETFs because you get big exposure. Bug, what a great name, right? That, too, uh, ha is sitting right above its moving average. And if it gets through 27.65, not much higher than today's high, I think you have a risk down to 26. Those are the two that I would really focus on the most. You know, I tell you, I, I started talking about Palo Alto Networks 13, 14 years ago, and I was so frustrated that they never lived up to the hype. And they still haven't. So there's a huge amount of upside potential, and I think, in that space as well. I want to move to the broader markets your, and your charting expertise it looks like we've been on the cusp of a major breakout for the S&P 500. So what series of events have to happen for us to get that? Well, what's so interesting, Charles, is right now you have almost a classic potential double top or a launch pad at 422.74, which was the early May high, and then yesterday's high at 422.72, there you go. And so if it takes that out, I would certainly just kind of do one of those close your eyes and know that we're going probably to 440. But if we can't get there and we start to disintegrate as we're starting to see a little bit of the signs today, particularly in transportation, then I would not discount that the euphoria turns to fear and people start heading for the exits. Yeah, you know, we know that these resistance points, particularly double tops, if, they, if, they, if they're persistent, people do give up. What kind of risk, though, would that be? Would it be a lot of risk, 3%, 4%, 5% more? Well, last time we had a correction, which wasn't too long ago, we had a 10% correction, which is sort of the normal correction. So I would say right. we'd be looking at a 10% a correction again, but this time the floor may not be there. And, of course, that's because we have these other factors. We have the dollar going down. We have the inflation I think still very much a conversation here. And of course, we have the Fed not really sure what to do. So these are factors that could come home to, to roost, sadly, especially if, uh, if we don't really see anything really good coming out of this so, infrastructure package. Right. So we're rooting for the breakout. You got 20 seconds. I know you like, ES, you like uh, ESTC uh, and NTAP, NTAP potentially reporting after the bell, right? Yeah, both of those are really involved with cloud and big data. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.